On May 14, 2025, the sun didn't just rise, it roared. An enormous X 2.7 class solar flare exploded from the surface of our star, disrupting communication systems across three continents. But what if this was only the beginning? Join us as we uncover the science behind solar flares, the terrifying power of our sun, and what it means for our tech driven civilization. If you're new here, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more mind blowing cosmic updates. On the morning of May 14, 2025, at precisely 825 UTC, Sunspot Region AR4087 unleashed an X 2.7 class solar flare, the most powerful of the year. This intense burst of radiation traveled at the speed of light and reached Earth in just over eight minutes, triggering immediate high-frequency radio blackouts across Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. This wasn't an isolated event. The day before, the same region had emitted an X 1.2 flare, followed by an M 5.3 flare just hours earlier. All signs of a brewing solar storm. Solar flares are powerful eruptions of electromagnetic radiation from the sun's surface. Classified by their X-ray brightness, they come in categories A, B, C, M, and X, with X being the most powerful. An X 2.7 flare is 2.7 times stronger than an X 1.0. These explosions are caused by magnetic screw, energy suddenly released around sunspots. The May 14th flare ionized the Earth's upper atmosphere, especially the D layer of the ionosphere. High frequency radio signals commonly used for aviation and marine communication were blocked. Flights were rerouted. Emergency communications failed. Even without a coronal mass ejection, the sheer intensity of this flare disrupted technologies we depend on every day. And Region AR4087 isn't finished. It's rotating toward Earth, increasing the threat of future, possibly CME producing flares. A CM is a cloud of solar plasma hurled into space. When Earth directed, these clouds can slam into our magnetosphere, causing geomagnetic storms. The 2003 Halloween storms knocked out satellites and caused blackouts. In 2024, an X 8.7 flare led to a rare G5 geomagnetic storm, the strongest in decades. While the X 2.7 flare didn't have an accompanying CME, AR4087 still poses that risk. A direct hit could mean power outages, GPS loss, and severe satellite damage. We're approaching the peak of solar cycle 25. Expected in late 2025, as the sun nears this maximum, flares are becoming more frequent and intense. In just the last year, we've seen X 8.7 in May, 2024X 6.3 in February. 2024X 9.0 in October 2024, each a staggering reminder of the sun's volatile nature during its active cycle. Thankfully, we're not blind. Agencies like NASA, ESA, and NOAA monitor the sun using the solar dynamics. Observatory and Parker Solar Probe these spacecraft help forecast dangerous solar activity and issue early warnings. While flares hit almost instantly, CMEs take hours or days, giving us time to prepare. The challenge is predicting if a flare will produce a SEM and whether it will be aimed at Earth. Preparation is key. Hardening satellites, shielding transformers, rerouting flights, and creating redundant systems for GPS and communications are all steps being explored. Even education plays a role, knowing when and how space weather strikes can make all the difference. Just like earthquakes or hurricanes, solar storms are natural threats we can learn to anticipate. The X 2.7 flare was more than a burst of energy. It was a warning shot. The sun is reminding us that we are small, 
vulnerable, and connected in ways we never imagined. As we head deeper into Solar Cycle 25, staying informed may be our most powerful defense. If you found this video insightful, hit that like button, subscribe for more cosmic updates, and share it to help others stay prepared. The sun is watching, and we should be too.